Hi everyone, Suzanne the Raider here. Welcome to my playthrough of Obelisk of Kamun, and let's just get straight into it. I remember that this level just always feels to me like a hot mess of everything. Um, there just always seems to be stuff absolutely everywhere. So yeah, I will try my best to get everything and remember where everything is, but yeah, it mightn't happen. gonna line it up for later so I don't have to move the block twice. Oh! And I remembered it was there and I knew it was coming and I was prepared and it still scared me. I am such a great Tomb Raider player, that's why. <laughs> now there's nothing in here, just a panther. I am going for all kills as usual, so I will kill everything. went dark for a minute. That was scary. Don't know what happened there. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's a slope. And then there's panthers, if I remember. So, I'm just gonna save it. And then let's do this. Ooh. Oh no! Oh damn it. They take a lot of life. I was not prepared. Okay. But I'm prepared this time. Not again. Got it. Okay. And there's no, no medipack or anything? After that, nothing. Wow. I'm just like extra annoyed about it because I died by one panther. But this is only the second time I've died during this entire playthrough. Oh, there's a medi pack. Okay, all is forgiven. But yeah, it's only the second time I've died in this entire playthrough, so I don't think it's too bad. Or maybe I should replay it and just pretend I didn't die. No, that feels like cheating. That's not an honest playthrough, okay? We're just gonna we're just gonna ignore it and get over it. Maybe. Ooh, it's so high up. Okay. I presume it's a running jump to that. Um, and if I remember correctly, there is something behind this door. Like I thought in the cistern that time, but then there was nothing. But yeah, see I told you it was such a Tomb Raider place to hide things is behind open doors. 
Okay. And now, oh no, there's a crocodile in here. I don't like that. <coughs> I don't like it at all. Okay. Going to save it again. And okay, just go. Just don't think about it. Don't think about the crocodile. Let's just swim up here and climb out. Oh, there. Is that, oh. Thought there might be a gap. I would have completely freaked out if I'd just run back into the water there. But where did it go? Crocodile? Hello? Okay, seriously, where did it go? Oh my god, where did it go? Okay, this is seriously not funny. Is it hiding? Can it hide in the kind of crevices? Or what is going on? Oh, there. Hang on. Oh, oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh my god. I apologize, I apologize for the squealing. You know how I feel about crocodiles, though. Wow, it's proper, it's proper hiding in the, in the crevice, isn't it? Oh no, there it is, I see it moving. Okay, do not fall in. Okay, I got it. That has to be the record, though, for longest time ever in the history of Tomb Raider to kill a crocodile. That was ridiculous. Okay, now if I remember, there's three things under here, I think. There's two pickups and a key. I also have to remember to keep an eye on my air meter when I'm doing pickups because I tend to just swim around going la 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 picking stuff up and totally forget that I have an air meter. Okay, and then I think just swim back. Okay. We're doing okay. I feel like this, you know, this playthrough today, it, it's not the best, honestly, but we're, we're, we're getting through it. We're getting there. <laughs> okay, so we've got this door open that leads out here to this big obelisk, which I assume is going to be the obelisk of Kamun. But if I remember correctly, we, oops, we should really go this way first. Oh my God. Jumping's really not going my way today. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what are you all even watching right now? Someone having a mental breakdown, clearly. Clearly. Oh, wait. I feel like there's a mummy possibly up here, so. Oh. Yep, just heard it. Gonna save it in case I die, and then let's just, um. Ooh! Oh, 
my god, it's so fast! I wish I was playing better, but I'm just not today. Today's not a good day. You see, what happened was, well, okay, so here's my list of excuses for why I'm not playing that good today. So I had a really bad headache all weekend, which was not good. And then I am also moving at the moment. So I'm trying to like pack up and move everything and do lots of stressful stuff and it's really difficult I think I'll just jump in here I guess uh so that's my other excuse and then also uh I was just like you know in my bed this morning chilling out and then all of a sudden there was two men in a crane right outside my bedroom window staring in at me I think they were cleaning the windows or something but like we got no warning that this was going to happen. Usually they'll warn you. Well, we live in a, a big apartment building. Usually they'll warn you if somebody is going to be doing that. Because, of course, like you're going to have someone staring into your windows. You you kind of need to uh, be aware that, <laughs> that that might happen. And, um, yeah, we got no warning about this. And I just looked to the side. And there was these two men just like, hey, yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, I mean, like I was in my pajamas and everything it wasn't that big of a deal but it was still it was just like a, a shock to my system so I've kind of been a bit like on edge ever since I've been off my game so I'm blaming that you can blame those window cleaning men I know they were just they were just doing their thing but still it it really scared me so anyway I will oh I can I can kill them with pistols I'm pretty sure there's another one. Ooh, yep. Gotcha. Anyway, so yeah, there are my excuses for being off my game today. And, you know, I'm going to I'm going to stick with those excuses. I'm going to live by them today. I I think it's okay. So anyway, just so just so you all know. Okay. Now where am I going over here? There's one right here, that makes more sense. Okay, presume that's a run jumpy thing. <coughs> okay, now I know that there's nothing in this room it's just a mummy trap, basically. But I want to get all kills, so I'm going to draw the mummies out in a kind of a safe way so I don't take too much damage and die again because I really can't take that today. Yes. We can hear them. They have awoken. So now, oh, drop down over here. Now we will shoot them from above.
follow them. But yeah, whoever created these mummies just created the most, in my opinion, irritating um, foe in Tomb Raider. I really do hate them. So yeah, as you can see, there's nothing down here. It's just a trap. Just a trap. Oh, I should probably actually make more sense to climb out the other one. Um, so also just a little kind of bit of news about my moving. So I'm trying to keep my uploads consistent enough throughout the move, but there may just be slightly less videos going up the next week or two just because, well, moving's a lot of work. But I'm really excited because in my new place, I will have room to hopefully set up a Tomb Raider setup. So I'm super excited about that. So it's going to be, it's going to be a good thing uh, in the long term, but it's obviously just a little bit disruptive um, for the moment. Is there any hiccups over there? I just want to double check. Um, and also, I'm trying to come up with some different types of videos that I can make. I don't think there's any pickups there. Different types of videos that I can make. Um, some videos where maybe I'm in them as well and uh, a few of you have said that you would like to actually see me as I play and talk so that's something I'm trying to figure out how to do because I'm not too good with technology um, and yeah hopefully I can get that sorted um, at some stage uh, over the next few weeks so if videos aren't going up as much don't worry, I am, I'm still making videos. I'm still working on it, very much still into it. Um, it's just uh, gonna take me maybe a bit longer at times. And I'm sure some of you are like, no, it's fine. We didn't miss your videos at all. That's cool. That's allowed. Wow, I actually killed that mummy really well. Proud of myself. Okay, so I think I'm gonna jump down here first because I think I, yeah, I'll get all that other stuff later. There's a panther. Can't I jump up here or something? Ah, there it is. I'm in the one with the switch. Okay. And I don't think there's... Is there anything up here pickups wise? Nope. And... Nope. I am so self-conscious that I'm going to miss a pickup in this level. Well, I'm always self-conscious I'm going to miss a pickup, but especially in this level, this is a really kind of confusing level, I think, with loads of different rooms and different places to go and things like that. Got shotgun shells. Uh, 
Do I... I feel like... Is there stuff to do outside here? Ah, yes, there is. Yes, I remember this room. I hate this room. Okay. Let's just let's just get it over with then. Draw out the the mummies. Okay, I have to go down a little bit further to draw them out. you have to actually touch the ground okay I'm just gonna save it again because I'm a compulsive saver in case I fall. <coughs> ah, and I do believe this is the secret. Although, I mean, it's really the most non-secret secret in the game. It's kind of an obvious one, but anyway. I won't judge. Can I jump over here? Well, I guess I should, because there's stuff here. Yay! in here. Oh, it's just a uh, uh, stairs down from the other place if you didn't get the uh, hugely obvious secret. <laughs> okay. If I just do this, will she grab it? Yeah. I wasn't sure for a minute if they had that feature in Tomb Raider 1. Or if it was just something they added in Tomb Raider 2. But yep, yeah, she can she can drop and grab. I don't think there is something here. Okay, that is enough curious looking. Let's move on. Oh, 
Cool. I've still got two, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find them. Uh, that looks like a really long draw. Maybe I should jump down here first. I'm extra self-conscious about dying now. Give myself some more life. Because I already died once. And I don't want to die again. I have some dignity. <laughs> okay. I guess I can go and finish the steppy slopey place. I think. That would make sense, yeah. I'm panicking slightly because I don't 100% remember this level, but we'll figure it out. It's fine. Okay, we get it. They opened the door. God. Um, cool. So, steps. No pickups left. Let's just continue up here. Like, how much ridiculous upper body strength does Lara Croft have that she can actually shimmy like this and support her entire body weight? That is impressive. Okay. Well, I mean, I... I presume I just dropped down again though, it looks a really long way, but oh, I'm sure it's fine. Is there a... Is there a mummy in here? No. Oh, that was a fail. That's ah, okay, this whole thing is a fail. Let's be honest. Let's just be honest here. This is not going well today. <laughs> I still like this level though. Okay, now I know that there's a mummy up here. But I know that there's a place you can kind of jump up and be safe. So let's just try and get up here quickly. There's just one more, but I can't remember where that is. I don't remember. Oh yes, I can see the two secrets. I think I'll get those next and I'm really just not sure where <laughs> where the last switch is. Um I'm sure I'll find it. Oh! Is this it? Ha! Huh, done! Yay, got it. 
that was easy because I, I genuinely I was trying to play cool but I was genuinely stumped there like where <laughs> is the last switch because I don't know Okay, and time to get the secrets. Don't think there's any pickups, pickups, pickups. I'm gonna save it again. Compulsive saver. And just, wow, that looks amazing. Have to do some curious looking too. Almost missed that, but I got it, so it's okay. We'll just pretend that was part of the plan. Okay, already got that one. We got them. So I'm just gonna check here for pickups again. Pick up. No, there's nothing. And so we swim. And there is no crocodiles as far as I remember. Oh, of course. I would have to go the wrong way <laughs> to find the door. Okay, let's just save it again in case I drown. Okay, there is no pickups here, I don't think. I mightn't have enough air, but I think I'm just going to keep on going anyway and hope for the best. Oh, oh no, it's getting lower. It's fine, just keep swimming. Woo. Just about made it. That was... Yeah, I see you. That was, um... A bit close, but we made it. Okay, now I know there is a ledge you can run to over there to shoot it from safety. But honestly, I usually lose more life um, trying to get onto that ledge than I would have if I just shot it. So I think I'm just going to shoot the stupid mummy. If I get into trouble, I will jump back into the water. Hey, that was easy.
Awesome. Oh, we can look out over the previous level. That's cool. Cool for us curious lookers. Come on, just die. We don't have all day. Okay. I don't think that there's anything else, but let me just double check. Okay, I think we're good. And now we're almost there. This has been a long process. <laughs> And just a secret last pickup in the level um, is if you go back in here, there should be, yes, some shotgun shells. And who knows how they got there or who dropped them. Maybe Larson, actually. Yeah, let's just say Larson did it. They really like showing you doors in this level. Or maybe this is the obelisk of Kamun. Oh, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? Which one? I don't know. Tell me in the comments, which one do you think is the obelisk of Kamun? This one or the one in the other area where we were collecting these pieces? I mean, it really could be either, but now that I think about it, it makes more sense that that is the obelisk of Kamun. I don't know. Okay, and that's the end of the level. And yay, we got everything. I can't believe it. Yes, 38 pickups is the total. 16 kills. Okay, by some miracle, I managed to get everything in that level. Happy days. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this playthrough with me today. Again, I apologize that it was kind of all over the place and I was kind of a mess. But, you know. I've got, I've got stuff going on. But anyway, <laughs> I will see you in the next video where we're going to play Sanctuary of the Skion, which I love, apart from that bit where you drop into that big underwater cave. Oh my God, don't think about it. So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.